The importance of this uh, session is to get you into the habit of being able to uh, move into the first stage of unfoldment um, naturally without music. Most of you like to have music. Um, I don't, and I love music. But I think very often you rely on it. It's like people that prefer certain hymns before they can demonstrate. It seems that it becomes more or less uh, an obsession or something that you lean on. And I want you to learn not to lean on anything but your own mind. That is the importance of all music. If you can control it, you can be disciplined. So I want you, if you will, to learn to sit correctly, with your head up, spines, <coughs> supposed to really breathe with four seconds of time. So if you go on the one, two, three, and four, and let your breath breathe from one to four, then hold that breath for one, two, three, and four, and breathe out one, two, three, and four. So you should be able to take a breath with 12 seconds, going up, holding it, and then breathing out. Now if you can get used to that, you are taking it correctly, more slowly, you can control it, because you need to harmonize both your body, your soul, and your spirit. And by using that method, you'll find it will help you consistently. If you find it difficult, then do it in threes. Always hold your breath, just a little, and let it breathe out, but always slowly. And you'll find it will be ter very helpful to you, because in circle work, it is important that your breathing is controlled. To sit correctly, so that there's no restriction in your breathing. In physical work, it would be even more so as a help to you, because in trance, you must get your breathing properly so there is harmony. Because remember, the spirit has to come and use various parts of you so that there is this blending of the spirit. Keep your feet on the floor and remember that there will also be um, the to learn how to take the strength and the power from the earth as well. In all circle work, you are blending the soul of the earth with yourself and also with the higher <coughs> kingdom. So it's a question of harmony. I'd like you to be relaxed, <coughs> but your feet always upwards, the calves of your legs, and go through it with your mind. You concentrate on your breathing and relaxation. You get that upright. Your mind is working. And you won't go to sleep or you will have control. the breath now fill all parts of your body. Let's think in your mind. The breath which your body needs. Filling all parts of your body.
this is the first stage of preparation. Put your potential foot on the first step. attention to the earth. Remember, you are a citizen of the earth. You are belonging to the earth. Feel the energies of the earth flowing through you. necessary for all growth and for you. Now let the power of the spirit, which is light, in your consciousness. spiritual being, your soul, your etheric body, the power. Those are the energies you're going to use. The unfoldment of your psychic and spiritual awareness. light of the spirit move with your inner body, your soul body. As you feel the vibrations of the earth, Feeling your physical body. Heal yourself. Concentrate on the healing power of the spirit. And here, let the power flow through you and heal. Before you can be aware of the manifestation of the spirit, you must be aware of that spirit yourself. So the 
great power of the Spirit is where the healing power lies by the use of your mind, taking from Spirit those qualities of healing. The earth is giving out energies all the time. You fail to acknowledge this. Now you acknowledge it. The Pope always kisses the ground when he goes to new places. <laughs> You kiss the ground each time you sit to unfold the powers of God. If you belong there. you is a wonderful aura, electromagnetic force. All your life's thoughts move into this aura, according to the vibrations of your thinking. thoughts move along these vibrations to build in the aura of your life. It's writing the story of your life. I want you to be aware of that aura. How can you use it unless you are made aware of it? Therefore, now is the time to be aware of that magnificent, powerful aura that surrounds your being, coming from the center of you, from your soul, moving outwards. Be aware of the order. Be conscious of it. Learn how to use it. Concentrate on this great mass of energy. Be aware of the central part of you. Moving outwards. every pore of your skin moves the energies of the spirit. <coughs> you concentrate on the spiritual from your soul moving outwards, which is the God force. Your aura becomes the radiance of your unfoldment of spiritual powers that lie deep within yourself. These are the energies of love that you will build when you invite the spirit to come to you. Those are the waves of love that those who come to you from spirit draw close to you. You invite them present to them 
spiritual conditions they require <coughs> to be at one with you. And here is the opportunity now for you to be aware by building someone in your consciousness that you love of times in our lives there are many things we would love to talk over with our family who have passed. A few words that we could have said to them. At least we could have told them we love them. It's at this moment when your thoughts are full of love on those waves of spirituality can you build in your consciousness a thought, an image of them? And from your being, tell them you love them. Try to hold contact too long. Let go. You're there. Those energies around you. Those powers. come back to oneself by closing down correctly from the head never open your eyes too quickly it's always the last movement you make you close down correctly being conscious still of your breathing down the body, Be conscious of your feet on the floor, Be conscious of your body being under your control, and your thoughts under your control. So here, open your eyes and be conscious of that which is right. 